This is the second video I have done of a vehicle turned into a camper by Tim from Mo Bang For Your Bucks. In this video, Tim does a fantastic job of converting a minivan into a basic livable space that has a bed, kitchen, toilet, and even garage for only $200. If you want to add the fridge, you do need to also add a power source. But many nomads start off with a simple ice chest or cooler, so we didn't include the price of the refrigerator or power system in the cost of this build. Do check out Tim's minivan though. It is so simple, even I could do this build. Also check out the video I recently did of his DIY $50 awning. Well, hello, Tim. Hi, Carol. It's been quite an ordeal trying to get you corralled to do an interview between making your delicious egg rolls over there and helping everyone fix their vans, including me, and everything else. But you have a new configuration to your minivan. Yes, this is my latest uh, build. And it's a, um, what, what year is it, what model? This is a 2008 Toyota Sienna. All right, and I just thought you had it set up so cool. And let's just start looking at your bed. How do you have your bed made up? It's mainly uh, plywood and okay. uh, two by two by two uh, wood. So two by two for the the post to hold it. Post and the support be below it too. So. Okay, and then one by two for the cross beam. Yes. Okay. Now also we'll show this, but this is a rail that you can use as a as part of the brace for your table. But now what do you have in this particular bed? What are you using for a mattress? This is a four inch uh, foam that's okay. actually designed for for furniture. Oh, oh, so it's an upholstery foam. Yes. Okay, so it's pretty dense. No, you can buy it in medium hard. So, so it's what not so what hard. size did you get it in? 30, uh, 30 inch. 30 inch, okay, and medium density? Yes. Okay, and then I'm looking over here and I see that you have a kitchen set up because in my thumbnail I'm saying kitchen, running water, bathroom. You And you just took down your awning, your DIY awning, which we did a, a um, video on so people go back and watch your awning. But tell everyone what's in your kitchen here? Uh, my standard, right now I don't have my uh, butane. Uh, because I'm using it. Yes, Carol's <laughs> borrowing it. So. I'm borrowing because half of mine went out. All right. All my cooking essential is down here, so, including my spices. Okay. I have a rack for spice. Oh, wow. Made from my uh, uh, Dollar Trees. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> Same Tim thing. can take nothing and make it into something. Yes. Oh, my cheap, gosh. On the cheap. All the way on the cheap. So you have that, and then I see up here you're using a what kind of refrigerator you have i have a i call it the astro ai let's go over there and look at it so this is an astro ai how were you liking this refrigerator i had it for almost two years now and uh -huh. it used very little power i was able to run it with just a, a jackery 240 all what? night long a jackery 240 and then what are you charging it with during uh daytime i if i'm at a camera i plug it in okay if not I have some secret uh, solar panel I will show you. It's okay. In the back. Okay. And then I'm loving this chair. Tell me about this chair. This is actually inspired by uh, Lady Bug Out, D. D from Lady Bug Out? She have her in, in her vehicle, but so I, this fit perfectly for me here. This is my lounging area. So we have a picture of you sitting in there lounging, but it also can be the third bed, or right. second bed rather. Second bed for a second person if somebody travels with me. Could you unfold it so we can see how that okay. will work and we'll come so around there and look it at it? fold it all the way down. Let me move this over here. You fold it all the way down and then we'll come back. Okay, and then you unfold this so, part here. And then I will unfold it and it will fit. I will okay. show you how it fits. And that. then you move your refrigerator up here. Yep. And it will okay. Slide, will you fit sideways. So you have a second bed here, and that looks like it's pretty comfortable. How thick is that? Oh, this is like almost uh, five inches. Okay, so you've got that, and then you've got over here, I see you have your toilet. 
Yes, yeah, that's my custom bill. Uh, well, let's lift that right. up. It's it's actually supports your head on your bed, but let's go ahead and take that apart and we'll look at that in a minute. So you said this is basically your emergency toilet. Yes, the only okay. part of emergency. So but you it's ready to go really quick. See, I already had it set up. Just spread it out. Okay. Put the foam on this. <laughs> is that your toilet seat? Yes. Okay. Exactly. Fold right oh, over. okay, okay. It's it folds right over. So and then you just put the pellets in and use the pellets. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my gosh. And your business, dump it in and and you're all done. Uh, yep. And but you use that, you try to use it, you said only for emergencies. Only for emergencies. <laughs> okay, but it and then it slides right back under your bed yep. and it's the support for your head in your bed. Yep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wow. Instantly go back to the hidden away. And it's all hidden away. Yep. Now I'm looking down here and I see the supports here for you. You were saying that they're two by fours down here under. Yeah, two yeah. by four. Okay. Some of it. Some is two I by four. I actually four, had hiding stuff in here, like uh, solar panel cable. Okay. A little bit of storage down here. So you got much. a little storage under but there. But I have a basement in the back. Let's go look at your, you have a basement in the back of this minivan? Yes. <laughs> let's, let's go look at the basement. This is your magically appearing basement. Can you show us how you made that? Remember all the minivan have a well, this very deep well. Oh, here. okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so that goes, a lot of stuff. does that go all the way to the other side? No. And of or course it's only up to here. Okay. And then I see you have a, oh, you have a crate under there or something. Uh. Uh, two, two plastic bin. Wow. And many more stuff in there. Okay. So you've got that for storage. I see you've got a little side pocket here you, for storage. I think that I will need all the time. And then can you show us too, you were telling me about um, how the top of your kitchen comes apart and you can use that to cook outside. Can you show me that? Sure. And it's just Velcro. So, so this is Velcroed in? Yep. Oh my goodness. See, show Velcro. us the okay and then how does this fit over here right now i don't have the support so if i have a piece of wood here it will more stay okay so you add a support and that yeah. will be your outdoor cooking oh my goodness and you had a tarp up here that was over and that the top of this um held up but we'll show that there's another video so go check out the other video with his diy 50 dollar tarp well Here's what I want to ask you about how much did it cost you to put all this together? And you were saying that you had a lot of the supplies already, the wood and stuff. But if you were starting from scratch, not including, you know, the refrigerator or the um, solar, because a lot of people start out without that, just a cooler, um, to build the toilet, the bed, your, your kitchen there, how much would you say that the supplies cost you to put this together? Roughly $200. Roughly two hundred dollars. And the cooling, because the lumber right now is expensive. I so otherwise, it would have been would be less. About a hundred bucks if it yeah. wasn't that expensive right now. But since it's gone up, so two hundred dollars. You have a bed, a garage, a kitchen. Oh, and you have running water up here. Hold on, let me go look at the running water. There's your running water. So you have a. Oh, okay. Is that USB? Yes, USB charge. And it just goes into your um your just the opening where you fill up the water okay and then let me ask you something so what are you charging all of this on what are you using for your electric just power a, i have three power bank i have a jackery i forgot the name boulder 300 and this one is uh 200 it's good for charging electronic only they don't they don't hold a lot like okay but you're saying that your jackery 240 does run, this run your refrigerator all, all night long and you were saying let's see we want to see you said you have a secret solar panel yes <laughs> let's see your secret solar panel it's in the back <laughs> okay we'll come back around here again this this panel actually Function to, uh, two function. You can use this to move around. That's okay. why I don't I don't permanently install it up there. Okay. But I have the cable to install it up there with these brackets here that I made it myself. So Ooh. you could install on the roof. So how are you using it instead? You're Most, just pulling it out and using it. Just mount it up on the top. If I'm staying out in the sun, uh -huh. then I mount on the top of the rack. So you just mount it on, but you don't have it permanently mounted. No. 
energizer. Okay, and how much how much solar? That's a hundred watt. One hundred watt panel. Yep. One hundred okay. watt panel. And that's enough to charge keep your battery. char your battery charge. Wow. Well, it's only two hundred and forty watts, so that shouldn't. Yeah. Tim, I don't know what you're gonna do next. <laughs> I don't care what you do as long as I can get some of those egg rolls. Uh, well, <laughs> there's some ready to go. <laughs> okay. Well, we're at the Glow Summer Meetup, and of course, you know we're going over there to eat again. Yeah. So, Tim, thank you so much. You have fixed so many things for people at this meetup, including me. And do you think this is the last configuration of your van, or do you think you'll have another one? I keep saying that, but I never know. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks, Tim. And what's your channel again? Uh, my channel is Mo Bang for your bucks. Mo Bang for your bucks. So go over and check out Tim's channel because you will learn something because he's constantly, constantly trying different things, modifications, and you do things on a budget and on the cheap. Yes. You know? Very, very low budget. All right. Thanks so much, Tim. We'll see you down the road. Thanks, Karen. Bye-bye. Let's have the reveal. Here's what Tim has in the basement of his Toyota Sienna. Bum, drum roll, ba 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 Oh, my God. Gosh, so what is all this stuff? Well, this is a tent in case some camping ground require you to have tent, even though you sleep in your car, they don't want you to sleep in it. And then you okay, have this is a power inverter 200 watt, some tool, walking stick, an extra butane stove in case the other one fails, or in case I have to borrow one, <laughs> which I did. Extra paper, disco light. This is a, a disco of light. Now, why do you need a disco light, Tim? <laughs> okay. I'm taking a pip on that one. Uh, okay. This is a motion detector light that I put under the vehicle at night. And then what's in all your tubs there? Your two tubs there. Uh, you don't have to open. You can just tell us. It's just uh, coal gear. Oh, uh, these are camping gear. Oh, okay. Stuff that I store for that awning that, that, that I built. So you have, you really have a huge storage area, but it's out of sight and completely stored away so you don't, it's not in your way. Because you don't, you don't need all the time you don't want to look at it it stress you out so you that's just that's amazing that is truly amazing